Hello there! It's me, Miss Blackburn, and today we are actually um, not going to draw an animal. We're using this week to focus on our first responders, but I promise next week we'll get right back to doing our animals. We last were on um, W, so we still have X, Y, and Z to finish up our animal doodles. Uh, but like I said, we'll do that next week. This week we're going to do our first responders because Superhero Day is coming up. Um, and I want to make sure that we have our drawings in time for Superhero Day. Um, each year, View Elementary recognizes the first responders of our area by inviting them to eat lunch with us in the cafeteria and receive cards and signs of appreciation on National Superhero Day. But this year, we're not able to celebrate together. Um, so, But we can still show our appreciation by drawing the pictures, and then we will share those pictures with the first responders. Um, just like always, you're going to upload those to Google Classroom or email them to me, and then I will work on putting um, pictures in a slideshow so that we can share them with the first responders. And I know that they are definitely going to be very appreciative of that. Um, during this time, you might have already made pictures for family members, or you might have already um, called someone on the phone and sang happy birthday to them. During this time, we can use our related arts to help us connect with one another um, in more ways than one. During this time, we have to be creative. And so I think this is going to be a great art project for us. And we'll definitely show that we are appreciative. So um, I've done a, a, a police. I've done um, firefighter. So for this one, we are going to do um, ambulance or an EMS. So let's get to it. Now, they have uh, a little bit different uniforms. I'm going to try to draw it in the way of the one uh, that we might see. Just going to bring that down a little bit there. So I have more room to draw. There we go. It's a little bit more room. Um, let's start first with our head. A nice light shape. And now we're going to get some ears. And let's get some eyes. Now you can give yours uh, whatever hairstyle that you would like. So however you want your hair to be, add something that you can figure out. I'm going to add little necklines, and it looks like the majority of them have on like a collared shirt. So we're going to make a line and a line with a letter B there. And then I'm going to do another line. And then I'm going to down and up. So it's also like a letter B. Down and And then make it the shoulders and the sleeves. And the stomach. And kind of put sleeves in there. And usually they have on some gloves, so I'm gonna make the arm come down come down and then I'm going to connect it so that's like the top of the glove and then we'll make some fingers one two three four and then the thumb is a little bit smaller so it's five and then on this side let's see if we can make holding a, a bag so I'm going to make that letter U Line going back, so it's going to be the thumb holding it. And then I'm going to make a line right underneath that, another line that's going to be the strap. And let's connect that. And then here, let's connect that up there. So it's a hand holding around the strap, and we can put little lines coming up to show fingers. All right, and let's make that strap. Go through, so I just imagine that line goes through. Imagine that line goes through. And then 
curve it down. And over here, curve it down. Connect that in there. Now for the bag itself, make a line right there and then a line that goes back. So it's like a letter V. And I'm going to try to make that exact same letter V underneath it. So down and back. And right here at the points, I'm going to connect it. And here, it's going to go behind, but I'm just draw my line the best I can. Imagine, imagine, imagine. And then connect there. And normally, they have a little medical sign here that, that looks like a little plus sign or a cross here. I'm going to make up and down, and then side to side with a plus sign. Okay, um, let's finish up here. So we need to connect the shirt and bring a line down. And you can't really see the other side of the leg, but it goes through here. Maybe you can see yours. I can't. It's behind the bag. It's overlapping. Them at the bottom, and then little shoe for this side, little curve, little shoe for that side. So the letter U, and for the bottom of the shoe too. Same little curve line. We'll put some shoelaces. For the shirt, their shirt usually does have some buttons. And it has a little patch here. And they do sometimes have their um, walkie talkie. Let's put a little rectangle walkie talkie here. Maybe it has an antenna. Maybe they have it down here on their belt. It's a good detail. Put some lines at the bottom up there. Now, I'm going to actually, so you have to figure out how you would like to do the hair. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make two here. So we can make one um, a man and one a, a woman. So let's see, I'm going to do some hair. That swooshes that way, and some hair that swooshes that way. And then I'm going to go really close. And then I'm going to put the hair that's there. Maybe I'll make this longer hair. I'll make it come down on the shoulder. Let me make this side longer hair. Some little hair lines in there. Maybe the hair goes in front of her ears. And we could give some eyelashes. Swoosh some more hair that way. Let's do some eyelashes. Little line, little line, little line that way. And a little line, a little line, a little line that way. 
some a little bit of olive oil there. There we go. And then for the can, just draw some hair around the top. You want to get some hair on the inside too. And get some eyebrows up with that. All right, so now let's color them in. All right, and there we have our team. Um, I chose different colors, different ways of seeing different uh, ways that they have their, their uniform or their outfit. So um, you may choose however you would like yours. It can be a girl, it can be a boy. Um, you can have it holding a medic kit. You can have it with an ambulance. You can make yours however you would like. Um, like I said before, you can check out our other videos where I did police, I did firefighter, I did other medical staff. So you can check those out as well. Or you can make up your own all by yourself. Um, but I know our first responders are definitely going to enjoy seeing your pictures. So can't wait to see what you do. As always, upload it to Google Classroom or you may email it to me. All right. I hope that you have a great afternoon. See you later, boys and girls. Bye.